I'm Marin, and this is Post-Its and Pens. Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marin and here you will find a little beauty, a little books, and a little teaching content. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and join me in my little corner of YouTube. Today's video is going to be my February TBR using my wheel of prompts to choose the books I will be reading. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So this is actually the first TBR that I am filming on my brand new camera, so yay for that. So I will be showing screenshots from my phone of the wheel and the prompts, which will be a little bit different. Typically I would overlay them completely over the screen because I was using my computer, but we're going to see if we can't just fit it right here. So here we go. To recap last month, I spun the wheel five times. I have read three of the five books so far. It is currently January 22nd, so I do have some time. One of the books just came in at my library, so I'm going to try to get that read before the end of the month, but I did read another mystery in its place earlier in the month, so just in case that doesn't work out, I have technically fulfilled that prompt. So there's just one book left that I need to read, and I am hoping to go ahead and knock that out over the course of the next week and into the weekend. So I fully believe that my TBR will be finished, so just in case you're keeping track. Not that it matters, because I don't do punishments. But anyway... Just a little quick recap. Now let's go ahead and do spin number one. Okay, we have a winner. It is middle grade, which is awesome because there is a book that I'm going to put in that spot. So let me go grab it and then we'll talk about it. Okay, my pick for middle grade is going to be Kiki's Delivery Service by Aiko Kodono. I hope I said that right. I picked this up at the very end of December, and I'm excited to give this one a read. So it's also nice and short. Good way to start off. But so this will be my middle grade pick for February. Okay, now let's do spin number two. Okay, Owned TBR, which is another one. I know exactly what I'm gonna pick for this too. It is actually the newest book to my collection, but it's still on my own TBR. So let me go grab that. Okay, for Owned TBR, I am going to go with my new book of the month uh, book, <laughs> which is The Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis. I just got this in the mail today and my goal is to make sure I'm reading these like in a timely fashion so putting it on February's TBR is perfect I can get it read quickly and know that I'm actually getting to books that come in to my house so this will be my pick for owned TBR if you are not familiar this is a historical fiction book about a girl named Lillian Carter who is like living post Spanish flu outbreak of 1919. It says um, she was one of the most sought after artists models in New York City, but with her mother gone, a grieving Lillian is rudderless and desperate. The work has dried up and a looming scandal has left her entirely without a safe haven. So when she stumbles upon an employment opportunity at the Frick Mansion, a building that ironically bears her own visage, Lillian jumps at the chance. But the longer she works as a private secretary to the imperious and demanding Helen Frick, the daughter and heiress of, in of industrialist and art patron Henry Clay Frick, the more deeply her life gets intertwined with that of the family. 
pulling her into a tangled web of romantic trysts, stolen jewels, and family drama that runs so deep, the stakes just may be life or death. So this was the one that I thought sounded the most interesting from the book of the month picks for January. I also have actually already read Reckless Girls. I was like reading that as I signed up. So obviously didn't want to buy that one. But yeah, excited to get to this one in February. Okay, now we're gonna do spin number three. All right, library loan. This is actually the pick on the wheel that made me film this early because this means I'm going to go on into my local library and do some browsing and pick a book. So I will insert that footage right here after this and then kind of talk about it once I bring the book home because obviously I don't know what I'm gonna pick. So future Marin will tell you about her library loan. Hello everyone, Future Marin live at you right now uh, at 5.28 p.m. on January 24th. As you saw, I did stop by the library, do a bit of browsing. I actually picked up two books, so I'm not sure which one I will actually use for this prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and just talk about both of them very quickly, but one of these will fulfill my library loan prompt. So as you saw, I did find The Switch by Beth O'Leary on the shelf. Pick this one up. This one sounds really cute. It's about a grandma and her granddaughter who decide to switch places. Grandma goes to live in London. The granddaughter comes to like grandma's rural uh, home and they wind up finding romance with someone. So yeah, sounds really cute. Seems perfect for Valentine's Day. But because I do have a bit of a large TBR, which you will see as this video goes on, I also went ahead and picked up a graphic novel. This one is Tiny Dancer by Sienna Cherson Siegel and Mark Siegel and it's a brand new release it looks like so i picked this one up as well because graphic novels are always quicker to get through so my library loan pick will be one of these two obviously my goal is to read both books but one of them will fulfill the prompt and the other one will just be like an extra book so now we're gonna send this back to <laughs> past marin to finish off this TBR. Okay, now let's do spin number four. Okay, nonfiction. I think I'm probably going to go with one of the two nonfictions that are on my 22 books to read in 2022 list. So let me see which one I want to do for that. Okay, quick change of plans. I was going to do one of the nonfiction books from my 22 books to read in 2022 list, but instead I'm going to read a book that's kind of going to go along with my 
Olympic themed reading vlog that I'm going to do in February, which is My Sergei, A Love Story by Ekaterina Gordieva. So this tells the story of um, the figure skating pair of Gordieva and Grinkov. They were married in real life. They had a daughter and right after they won the gold medal in 1994 at the Olympics, the year after Sergei passed away very unexpectedly from a heart attack. So this book is basically recounting their their lives together, their skating partnership, their marriage, and things like that. And I am looking forward to reading this one, even though I'm sure it's going to make me cry because to this day, she is still very much in love with her husband who passed away in 1995. So that will be my pick for nonfiction. Okay, and our final spin, spin number five. Okay, random read. So what this means is I am going to do a random number generator. I'm going to put in the number of books on my to read shelf on Goodreads, generate the letter and we will see which one that is. So I am going to use my computer for this. So again, I will insert it right here. But let's go ahead and pull that up and see what random book this has in store for me. This has been a kind of interesting TBR. I'm kind of excited. So here's a look at that. Okay, so as you can see, I have pulled up my random number generator. I currently have 588 books on my want to read shelf. So I am going to go ahead and set this to generate a number from 1 to 588. And we will see what book I get. This could be interesting. Okay, I am going to generate it three times just to kind of make sure it's working. So here is number one number two, number three. So number 257. Let's see what that is. That's going to be like an earlier one on the list. So let's see. Okay. 257 is what I thought was true by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This one has been on my TBR since May 2014. So it says, I'm just going to read you the quick synopsis. So Here's the cover. It says, Gwen Castle has never so badly wanted to say goodbye to her island home till now. The summer, her biggest mistake ever, Cassidy Summers takes a job there as the local yard boy. He's a rich kid from across the bridge in Stony Bay, and she hails from a family of fishermen and house cleaners who keep the island summer people happy. Gwen worries a life of cleaning houses will be her fate too, but just when it looks like she'll never escape her past or the island, Gwen's dad gives her some shocking advice. Sparks fly and secret histories unspool as Gwen spends a gorgeous, restless summer struggling to resolve what she thought was true about the place she lives, the people she loves, and even herself with what really is. So, yeah. I'm excited to read this one. I believe Huntley Fitzpatrick gets like some pretty good ratings all in all. This one has a rating of 3.72, so not the highest I've seen, but still decent. So I'm excited to see what I think about it and to cross this book off my TBR that's been on there since May of 2014. Okay, now let's talk about the three books that I want to read that were not part of that TBR that I couldn't kind of fit in. So the first one is going to be my classic for January, February, and it is as part of Emily Fox's Classics book club on her Patreon. And that is Persuasion by Jane Austen. So I picked this one up after she ad added it to her list of books to read. Um, I have read two previous books by Jane Austen. Um, I didn't love them. I gave them three stars. They were fine. I um, just am one of those weirdos that isn't as in love with Jane Austen as like most other people are. But the two that I read were Pride and Prejudice and Emma. So we'll see what I think about Persuasion, but that is the first additional book to my February TBR. Really hoping I can get to all of these additional ones, but we shall see. 
Okay, the second book that I'm going to be reading is for the Buzz Wordathon challenge. That challenge for February is a book with a pronoun in the title, and I am going to be reading Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. I've had this book on my TBR since it was released in 2014. It actually came in an Owl Crate box, like way back when Owl Crate first got started, and it is time to read it and get it crossed off my list. I will give you a little synopsis right now. A wonderkind young set designer, Emmy has already started to find her way in the competitive Hollywood film world. Emmy is a film buff and a true romantic, but her real life relationships are a mess. She has desperately gone back to the same girl too many times to mention, but then a mysterious letter from a silver screen legend leads Emmy to Ava. Ava is unlike anyone Emmy has ever met. She has a tumultuous, not so glamorous past and lives an unconventional life. She's enigmatic, she's beautiful, and she is about to expand Emmy's understanding of family acceptance and true romance. So this is another book, just like one that I talked about earlier, that's been on my TBR since it was published in May of 2014. So I'm kind of excited to be knocking two of those books out <laughs> this on this TBR. And the third and final extra book that I want to read in February is for the Literally Dead Book Club, which is hosted by Books and Lala, and that is Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby. So this is a thriller, I believe, like mystery thriller, murder mystery type thriller, and I will read you the synopsis right now. Uh, Ike Randolph has been out of jail for 15 years with not so much as a speeding ticket in all that time, but a black man with cops at the door knows to be afraid. The last thing he expects to hear is that his son Isaiah has been murdered, along with Isaiah's white husband Derek. Ike had never fully accepted his son, but is devastated by his loss. Derek's father, Buddy Lee, was almost as ashamed of Derek for being gay as Derek was ashamed his father was a criminal. Buddy Lee still has contacts in the underworld, though, and he wants to know who killed his boy. Ike and Buddy Lee, two ex-cons with little else in common other than a criminal past and a love for their dead sons, band together in their desperate desire for revenge. In their quest to do better for their sons in death than they did in life, hardened men Ike and Buddy Lee will confront their own prejudices about their sons and each other as they rain down vengeance upon those who hurt their boys. So as I said, this is the pick for February for the Literally Dead book club. So excited to read that one. Nice to get like a thriller, like on this uh, TBR, which is very kind of fun and whimsical and contemporary heavy, like romance contemporary. Okay, so these are some <laughs> of the books that I'm going to be reading in February. I will quickly do a recap. So the first one was my middle grade pick, which is Kiki's Delivery Service. The second one was something from my owned TBR, so I will be reading The Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis. Next up was my library loan, which at the point of filming this, I don't know what that is, so we'll put that picture right here. <laughs> and then my nonfiction pick is My Sergei by Ekaterina Gordieva. And then I have my random read pick, which was What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick, on top of the three extra books that I just talked about. So that is a look at my February TBR. I am hopeful that I can get to all of those books. January was a really good reading month for me, so I'm hoping that I can repeat that in February. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!